as you can see look look at this dangling dangling part that oh. see what i mean hi guys welcome back to my channel i don't know what that was but hello <laughs> my name is maggie if you are new i would love for you to kindly subscribe to my channel and if you are returning hi thank you for coming back so by the title of this video i'll be showing you guys how i trim my hair please bear in mind i am not a professional there are many ways to trim your hair but i personally like doing it myself i've heard so many stories about like people going to get their hair done their hair used to be like somewhere down the shoulder and they end up here i'm like no thank you i'd rather learn at home by myself and i'd rather do what works for me and what works for my hair so i would like to just clear that so before we start the video you guys will need a few things so these are the tools that we're going to be using in this video today uh, first i've got my three piece scissors and comb barber set i ordered these on ebay because my local hair shop is still currently closed since we are in like quarantine um and they haven't got any news on when they're open yet i guess but yeah this is what i have so yeah so make sure you're using shears that are made for hair okay if you're going to use scissors make sure they are for hair do not use kitchen scissors because using regular scissors is likely to damage your hair even more next we'll need different combs i'm going to be using my wide tooth comb this is the one i'll be using today and then i'm going to be using this define I'm going to be using this um, fine tooth comb as well from the pack and then you will need a detangling brush. This is the one I'll be using. Some water if you feel like your hair is dry and you need a bit of moisture. And then any products of your choice will do. I'm going to start off on a freshly washed hair. I have a video on how I go about washing my hair. If you guys are interested, I'm going to leave it in the link below so you guys can check it out as well. Next, I'm going to just go in with my Auntie Jackie leave-in conditioner. I don't want to put too much products on my hair because I don't want to weight it down. And I'm just massaging it into my hair. Let me guess, now you're wondering, Maggie, when or how often should I trim my hair? Well, like I said, I am not a professional, but I do know this. If your curls are not popping like they used to, and your hair is not growing, so you basically tried everything, like literally everything, and within two months, your hair is like, nope, I don't wanna grow. Um, you have no volume or shape you struggle when you're combing your hair your hair is always tangled girl if you're struggling like me you need to get your hair trimmed okay this is a sign of split ends like this right now i have split ends and you guys will get a better look at my split ends and how often should you trim your hair it all depends on you everybody's hair is different okay just because someone trims their hair like two or three months does not mean you have to follow that person okay i haven't trimmed my hair for over a year now i know which is kind of bad a year i feel like a year is a long time but that's because I didn't feel the need to trim my hair. Like sometimes I would, majority of the time I was wearing my hair in buns or in wigs. But this month I have realized like, I need to get my shit together. Like my hair's like, nah, we cannot go on like this. Like girl, you need to trim me. You need to cut me. Like you need to cut the shit out of this. Yeah, everyone's hair is different. I'm gonna take some hair from here just to show you guys. As you guys can see my ends are really terrible like they are crying out for help like they are so bad if you like this mm -mm, this needs to go on the plain white wall you guys can see this like that shit needs to go i feel like i'm going to be doing a lot of cutting today well that's okay like i said i've left this for over a year now i have sectioned my hair into four i'm going to take a smaller section from the back 
and I'm just gonna join it with the top. This is what I'm gonna work with. If you don't know what you're doing, always work in smaller section. As you can see, look, look at this dangling, dangling part. That, oh, see what I mean? This is why we need to trim our hair. I'm going to run my fingers through my hair. This is gonna help me identify any knots, any split ends, and also it's gonna help me know the breakage point as well. Even though my hair is detangled, I'm also gonna go ahead and brush it. I'm gonna start off with my wide tooth comb, and you just wanna brush from the end. Like if you, look, another one. I'm gonna start from the bottom, and then work my way up. I'm going in with my detangling brush. Lastly, I'm taking my fine tooth comb. I do not use a comb like this to brush my hair on a daily basis. Oh, hell no, because it's gonna rip out so much of my hair. Like, I do this when it comes to trimming my hair. Once I brush down, it's all good. But then once I get towards the end, it's very hard for my brush to even go through. What you want to do now is take your pointer finger plus the middle finger. So like these two, it's going to be your fake scissors. I'm pulling my hair whilst playing the pointer finger and the middle finger in between. I'm just going along just like that, just to see where I kind of need to trim as well. But once my hands are placed where I want them to be, I'm gonna use my scissors. I'm gonna basically cut off all of that. Always cut off little and then cut more off if needs to be. Um, I'm going in with my fine tooth comb and I'm just going to comb through. I'm going to use my fingers again and run it through my hair just to see if I can um, spot any knots. I'm going to trim a bit more. I feel like I'm going to trim this part. So basically that's what we have. I think I'm okay with this amount. I don't want to cut too much i'm not trying to go bold so once i do that i'm just gonna go back in with my auntie jackie leave-in conditioner i'm just gonna style my hair once i trim that way it saves me time from cutting everything and then going back and then just to style it it's gonna take me forever and it's quite late here now i'm gonna use my eco styling gel I'm now going to do a two strand twist and also check my ends one more time. So when I get to the end, I kind of like to twist so that the twist doesn't unravel. This is what we should have, but if we look closely, I'm not sure if my camera is focusing. But, so you guys can see this part, this ugly piece that's still sticking around, just chilling. I need to cut that off. It's doing me no use and it's just... So I'm going to cut. Okay. So this is what we should have. Looking much better and it looks healthier as well. This is the first one done. I'm going to go ahead and do another one, just repeating the same process. I'm going to add a bit of leave-in conditioner. Using my wide tooth comb. So a detangling brush. And then lastly, our defined tooth comb. Take your fingers. gonna go back in with my leave-in conditioner because my hair feels a little bit hard now I'm gonna use my gel so I'm applying some gel my eco styling gel now I'm doing a two strand twist I'm gonna trim so 
the end this is what it looks like now and you guys can see while I'm twisting my hair like the twist is looking very nice and juicy and it looks bouncy so that's what I like I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my hair when I get to the back and the front I'm gonna show you how I kind of compare it and we're gonna go from there so I'll see you guys soon hey guys so I'm just twisting up this part and I'm just gonna compare it to the other side so I'm just gonna kind of compare okay so that's how I kind of compare it I'm just gonna do the rest now and then I'll be back So I'm going to use a little bit of my gummy um, styling wax gel. I'm just going to apply that just on the edge so that when I take out my twist tomorrow, my edges are going to be, you know, flat. And this is it guys. So my ends are looking real good, real juicy, you know, bouncy. Um, I'm happy with it. So what I've learned is if you guys have any split ends, dead ends, whatever ends, just make sure you cut them off, okay? It's not doing you any good leaving them there. It's just going to end up damaging your hair. So you might as well just snip, 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 snip. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Make sure to like and also comment down below to let me know what you guys would like to see next and I will try my best and film it for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!